Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where today I'm on the 540 grinding machine. It's quite difficult to see because it's a very small part but being held in place on the magnetic table on the intensifier is a very small piece of tool steel that I've ground down to make a key to fit on the end of the shaft for the starter motor. So the 540 is graduated in tenths of a thou and I'm just taking this down one tenth at a time. You just about see there's a tiny witness spark there. I've got a couple more cuts to do. In fact I've got one left to do a full half thou and that will have taken half a thou of the thickness of that part. I'm not running the SUDS coolant today. I've got a bit of a problem with a bit of a leak. Uh, in fact it's a fairly major leak. You can see there the um, the bottom's fallen out, so um, I'm not running the flood coolant, but as it's such a small part and there's such light cuts, I don't think I need to do that. So the plan is, if I just extract the part now, I'll go next door and I'll show you what the plan with this part is. That's a bit quieter, isn't it? New has a reason to come in the kitchen. So this is the one-way clutch bearing, the Sprag clutch, and as you can see, it's got a keyway in there. And this is the part that I've just been taking down on the 540. So it's a piece of tall steel and I've made a nice tight fit inside the keyway there. There it is inside there, the keyway of the, of the clutch bearing. And the end of the shaft itself is very, very hard. And even with the carbide bit, we weren't able to cut the keyway. So what I've done instead on that is just to cut, as you, sorry, cut grind, as you can see, a flat. And then that, that key will sit on that flat so that the, uh, we, we get a good attachment between the shaft and the sprag clutch bearing. It's not quite there yet, won't quite go on, but it's very, very close. It's quite difficult to measure how close. So all I'm doing here really is taking a small amount off the thickness of the, of the key itself and trying it again, then going back next door, then trying it again, then going back next door and oh, well, you get the point, yeah? It's quite a laborious, tedious process, but I want this to be a nice tight fit because there's going to be quite a bit of torque on there. And in fact, we might, we might be almost there. Um, nice tight fit because this is one of the last jobs we've got now until... Uh, so before we can we can put the whole starter motor back together and fit the chain and see if it's man enough to start the bike. So quite exciting, but I don't want to rush this because it would be easy to spoil it and I don't want that to be a sloppy fit on there. So that's what we're up to at the moment. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.